What's up guys, MMA Game here, bringing you another video. This video I'm using Fedor Emelianenko, created in the last video slash live stream. I went and used the photo face and actually got a pretty good Fedor from what I can tell. I've tried to make him before and it really didn't turn out that well. And uh, this time I think it actually did work out pretty good. So I'm going to go over a few things with Fedor, but I'm going to show up on the screen a new... Uh, addition to the MMA fam, it is a little kitty cat named Burrito. So uh, make sure to head kick that like button for Burrito. And uh, yeah, guys, uh, this Fedor is very, very good, but actually they don't have a Sambo style in uh, Ultimate Team. I don't even think they have a Sambo style in the actual game. So it's, uh, you know, I had to go with Judo, but Fedor... What I gave him a very strong kick. I gave him that uh, calf kick, which is actually a level five. I got in one of the pack openings videos that is also that I also did a video on. So uh, yeah, that card is actually on Fedor. So I do use that kick, and he doesn't have that good of range. So I actually do have to use that kick quite a bit. And uh, I've had pretty good luck with him. Mainly what I do is I put up on some pretty good submission moves as well. He's got some nice submissions from off his back where he, you know, bottom half guard where he can grab that Kimura. I actually really love that submission. It's something that you don't see a lot when you play ranked because uh, they don't really give a lot of the fighters a lot of submissions, especially off their back. So that's one thing that I actually love about Ultimate Team is those all those new submissions you get to experience but check it out I get rocked right here with that huge head kick and then we go into the clinch and I'm actually gonna show you guys one of the moves that I recently got I think it is a four star it's not a five star it's not a gold it is actually the red one here it is right here the flying arm bar out of nowhere right there that is a move I put on with Fedor he, he is known for his epic arm bars and uh, this move, I will say though, I think it is right there. I get the submission right there. I think it's a tiny bit cheesy, but, I, and then he rage quits right there. So we are into the next fight. I just showed a bunch of my fights, the highlights, the finishes from a lot of fights that I've done with Fedor. I really, really like using him, but I will say this, about 90% of my wins are actually with submissions basically so I mean I'm submitting a lot of these people with switches and stuff like that I got my attributes pretty high up for the submissions and so that's really what I do for whatever reason I just I can't really land a lot of punches on people because my stats I think it might have to do with the judo with the judo fighter when they start off their punch stats I think are pretty low com especially compared to like boxers and stuff I think most people like pick boxer and they sort of just come forward with those crazy combos and stuff with the boxers. I also don't have too many perks. I get rocked right there against this huge guy. This is the heavyweight division. I see, I see some awesome calves in uh, Ultimate Team. I, I'm really, really liking Ultimate Team lately. I'm really getting into it. I love the cards. I love how they're putting out new cards all the time. It's pretty sweet. Um, but there's one of the punches I have with Fedor, that huge overhand. Uh, lead overhand shot. I've not really knocked anyone out with that yet. Most of my knockouts coming with Fedor are just from when I rock him. I'll rock him with something and then I'll come in with those crazy hooks and I'll get the knockout that way. But here we go again in the single collar and here we go going for that flying arm bar again. It's just a deadly move. Um, it's probably pretty easy to deny once you actually like know about it. But for the first attempt that's going to be pretty hard for someone to see that, you know, uh, so I think it's a little bit strong. I don't know if I would say it's completely overpowered, but it's, it's pretty, it's pretty strong, especially if you got good submissions. Uh, so I can see it potentially being an issue, but you can always deny it. So it's not a huge thing, but, uh, yeah, right here, working this guy's legs, trying to get some damage done but as you can see the only reason I'm throwing these kicks is because I'm not in range for any other kind of strike at all you know the jabs aren't landing so right here what is this we get the sprawl and we get I think it's a Japanese I think that's the uh, 
Japanese necktie maybe? I'm not sure which submission, but um, here we go. Going for a choke, and we get it. I think that was a three stage? I don't know, that was a pretty fast one though. So again, submission after submission. Check this guy out, Two-Face Dom. What a killer, look at these insane tattoos. Yeah, but yeah, this guy, as you can see, he's pretty much as tall as you can make him, and I'm getting absolutely wrecked right there. But here we go, here we go. See, I deny the, uh, when you get that deny, it's just deadly. Because then their stamina goes down, and I actually have pretty high clinch grapple because of the judo. I have a pretty high clinch grapple stat on Fedor, and Fedor gets another armbar with a flying armbar. Insane, I've just been going for that like crazy. Look at him rubbing his belly. I was actually gonna pick the, the other body type. It was a little bit skinnier, but I don't know. I looked at a few pictures of Fedor, and then, he he was not small, especially in his later in his later fights. Uh, he got pretty big uh, there, like towards Strike Force and stuff like that. So here we go. We are fighting for the title now in the title fight, the main event. Man, I really really prefer five round fights as opposed to uh, three round fights. I really like them a lot. And but uh, for a while, when I was the champion on Ultimate Team. It was actually taking me a little while to find fights, you know, if you're the champion, because it tries to find a championship fight first, but if it can't find one, it'll just take you to a normal three-round fights. And, and really, I don't do as well in the three-round fights. I actually skip ahead into round number two right here, and I get dropped right there. Fedor's down, but I get a, a nice uh, recovery. I actually have that knee bar as well from... Uh, side back mount bottom when you can go for that rolling knee bar. I love that submission and I've also been messing with some of those submissions from stat guard which I don't see anyone has in ranked. I don't know. If you guys know anyone who has that let me know. I'm sure probably like Frank Mir or somebody has it. But check this out. Going for the Kimura on half guard bottom. Fedor let it go. Don't do it to his wrist. I think there actually is an animation where it snaps but I don't think that was it. I think I might have got one earlier actually with uh, one of the arm bars. It sort of looks like it snaps a little bit, but there's probably got to be one with those um, Kimuras since it's from the first game. They had that kind of like snap animation, but here we go. The champion Fedor UFC champ. Check it out guys. Let me know if you think that is a good Fedor and if you want to know how to make him, what photo face I used, uh, these two fights I add in here after as I'm champion, getting crazy knockouts right here, add in a couple bonus clips for you guys. Uh, but again, if you want to see how I made them and you want to know the same image I used for the photo face, check out my uh, last video and um, click on the annotation. It'll take you right to the right time because it is a two hour video, but uh, I have an annotation that takes you directly to where I start creating Fedor. And, uh, you, and where I put the uh, little placements for the pictures and how I size the picture. But right there, I knock him out again, rock him. And uh, that was actually, I think I rocked him with a crazy spin kick. That's a crazy move I gave to Fedor. No one ever sees that coming, so that's actually pretty effective. But that is basically the video, having so much fun on Ultimate Team. Make sure to give Burrito a head kick on that like button, guys. Follow me on Twitch TV and Twitter. Till next time, this has been MMA Game. Peace.